Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have a few February favorites to show you guys today. So you may have noticed that I did not upload this past Tuesday um, like I normally do and like I promised I would on my last video. Um, so before I went on my trip, I just kind of time got away from me and I didn't have time to film what I needed to before the trip. And then when I got back, I had the flu. So I just haven't been able to do it yet. Um, I do plan on having that up for you guys next week though. So you can look forward to that. Uh, and now I have pictures that I can add at the end of the video so you can see it all put together. Um, but now that I am feeling a little bit better today, um, I've had, so I started getting sick on Tuesday morning, which sucks because I was having breakfast with my friend Megan and her family, um, which I'll link her channel below. Um, we did the Bon Voyage breakfast at Trattoria Al Forno and I started sneezing <laughs> at the beginning of the breakfast and I was like, oh, you know, whatever, it's probably allergies. Um, but then I really started feeling bad later that evening and went to the doctor after I was home the next day and sure enough, had the flu. So thankfully I got a um, Zofluza prescription and took that within the first 48 hours of my symptoms and it seemed to have, I don't know if it was that or if it was just a really mild case of the flu, but it went away or started going away really quickly. So Wednesday was the worst day for sure and then by Tuesday or by Thursday I was feeling a little better and now it's Friday. And I have a whole lot more energy. Um, I had enough energy to wash my hair, put on a teeny bit of makeup, and get on here and talk to you guys. So, without further ado, let's talk about my February favorites. Um, since Liliana is not here with me, she is at daycare because even though I'm home from work, I really didn't want to risk her getting the flu from me, being with me all day. So, we went ahead and let her go to daycare. Um, she loves it there anyway, has all her little buddies to play with. So, but anyway, since she's not here with me, I will do hers first. Um, we didn't really get a whole lot for her this month. She just has a few new clothes. Um, but this was a gift for her from Megan, who I just mentioned. Um, she brought this little romper when we met up at Disney and is Janie and Jack. And it is so cute. So it's got these like wide legs and super fun, colorful print. So um, I'm excited for it to get warm outside um, so we can just romp around in this. Um, I might find me like a little orange t-shirt that's this color that we can like match a little bit, but I thought that was super cute. Um, okay, so sticking with the wearables theme, one of the things that I got at the very beginning of the month was a pair of Rothy's. Um, I have a pair of the round toed flats. Um, they're, I don't wear them a ton, but they're like a mustard yellow color. So that's probably why I don't have a lot of mustard yellow, but um, I do wear them a decent amount, especially in the spring and fall. They're a really good like transitional shoe, but I really was eyeing this loafer style. Um, I don't know, I can, I have to get up and get closer. Anyway, um, you've probably seen them I feel like they advertise a ton on like Pinterest and Facebook, but they are made from re recycled water bottles. And the thing I love about these things is that you can wash them. Uh, you just take the soles out and stick them in the washing machine with the, the whole shoe. Um, and that way, if you get something on them or they just get like sweaty, you can wash them and they smell better. <laughs> um, but I did wear these to Disney on my first day, which was our flight down and then um, some Epcot and some Animal Kingdom. So I wouldn't recommend them for park days or at least like long park days. If you're going to like go to a park for a couple of hours, then come back and you can like change into different shoes because they are really stylish, um, but they're just not quite enough cushion for a long day on your feet. So just something to think about if you're thinking about wearing them to the parks, but I will leave my link in the um, description down there. If you do want to try a pair, you'll get $20 off and then I'll get $20 off if I buy another pair, which I probably will <laughs> at some point, not anytime super soon, but at some point I would like another color in these loafer style or potentially another pair of flats. But anyway, so I really love, love those. I highly recommend Rothy's even if not for Disney parks. So the next thing I have is this Tarte Tinted Lip Balm. It's the Tarte C line, S-E-A. Um, and it's this rose color. I don't know if you can see it really well in this light. Yeah. 
kind of a orangey paint color. Um, put some on. It's not super, super noticeable, but it's enough that it like makes you look like you're wearing just a teeny bit of maybe lip gloss or um, a tiny bit of color. So I really liked the Clinique tinted lip balm that I got, um, but the Sephora in my JCPenney does not have Clinique, or at least they didn't have Clinique makeup, probably because there's a Clinique counter in the JCPenney. But anyway, I ended up getting this Tarte, which looked pretty similar, um, and I really like it. And it kind of has like a minty feel to it. So it's almost like using Burt's Bees, but it's tinted. Burt's Bees tinted lip balm probably would have been a lot cheaper. Maybe I should have done that. But anyway, um, I do really like this and it came in really handy in Florida because for some reason my lips get more chapped there. I don't know what that's about. But anyway, so I really like that. Um, next is a book, but not a reading book. <laughs> It is a photo book that I made of Liliana's first year. So I actually took a picture of her every single week for her whole first year of life. Um, I got a little better at it as the weeks went by, <laughs> but my little cutie every single week of her first year, including the one month and or all the individual month pictures. So um, this is from Artifact Uprising, which is the company I use for my wedding albums for my clients. So I already knew I liked the company. Honestly, this was a little more expensive than I would have liked to pay, but um, I already knew I liked them and kind of knew how to use the, um, the software to lay it out. So I went ahead and did it. So my wedding clients get hard book albums and this is just a soft cover, but um, I really like the way it turned out. You can see at the end, um, towards, towards the end of the year, she wouldn't sit still, like she wouldn't lay flat for a picture anymore. She just wanted to play with those little wooden numbers. So we started doing them sitting up, but um, really pleased with how this turned out. And you can do something like this also on Shutterfly for a lot cheaper probably. But I do like Artifact Uprising, and I like the quality of the cover a lot. The actual quality of the prints is not anything special, but anyway, um, super, super happy about that, and can't believe my baby is one. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay, so the last thing I have was actually a gift for my husband, and it was his Valentine's Day gift, and it is a Pokemon poster. Um, ignore the little... <laughs> little smudge of grease here. I laid it on my dining room table to flatten it out because it came rolled and then I got some junk on it. But um, hopefully it's not super noticeable where we have it hanging. Um, this particular one says, bike around the blue hue of Cerulean City. And I have no idea what that means, <laughs> but apparently it's Pokemon related. And you can see a little guy on a bike with a Pikachu on his hat. So um, this, Poster shop on Etsy is called Poster Knot, P O S T E R N A U T. And she has lots of posters, but she has one line that's specifically Pokemon related. And he showed that to me and um, liked it, so I bought him one. And I actually may get him a couple more for his birthday coming up next month um, because I don't know what to get him. He is so hard to buy for. Is anybody else that way? Like, I don't know why. I do know why he's so hard to buy for. It's because he buys everything he wants for himself. So <laughs> it's impossible to buy him stuff. He, I did think about buying him concert tickets, but I don't know. I think I'd rather just, if he decides he wants to go to a concert, I'd rather him just do that because I'm afraid of getting him concert tickets and then him deciding he doesn't want to go. Anyway, so <laughs> I think the posters will be a good birthday present, but that's it for my favorites. Um, I don't have any like books or movies because I uh, just didn't have any that I thought would be worth favorite favoriting favorite yeah anyway okay I'm starting to lose steam here I need to go back to the couch and lay down for a while so um, I'm gonna go and I will see you guys on Tuesday hopefully with my Disney bound video and then after that I'll have a run Disney video and then a, um, a Disney haul video and some pin videos and I've got a lot of stuff coming up thankfully so um, you'll be You'll be having some good content for the next few weeks to months um, and then I'll be going back down at, at the end of March so I'll have even more content so I'm excited for the next few months and I will see you guys next week have a good weekend bye